Hi everyone, this is a quick orientation of how to log in and how to access your information in MSS, which is your student portal, which is where teachers are going to be posting their marks and comments for you at midterms and finals. So you're going to go on your phone or on your computer and go to the following website, myschoolsas.ca slash aspen slash logon.do. If you're on your phone, it'll look like this. We're not gonna use the top part, that's a standalone sign-in. Our logins are connected to our Google Classroom and to our Wi-Fi. It's all one account. So we're going to use the bottom part here. We're going to choose login using independent schools branch and then click the AASP button. You don't need to put anything at the top. Put in your first name dot last name at lutherhs.ca. Put in your password. And the first time you do this, you might see this uh, stay signed in screen. You can check the don't show this again button and then check yes. Some of us have found that that hasn't worked the next time it's still populated. So you might need to actually check the no and then for whatever reason it disappears. Once you sign in, if you're on your phone, you're gonna see this landing page. You're gonna to have to scroll down a bit until you see this view full site. Click there and then you'll see the same page that those that are signing in on their computers will see. Okay, let's go to the My Info top tab and your, default, uh, your details side tab. You're gonna see all of your demographics and you're gonna see your addresses and you're also going to see your school photo. If something's wrong, please let us know. Your transcripts are the next side tab and this is where you're gonna see your marks and comments. After midterms, we expect this to be populated but if you're looking at this beforehand, you might need to set up a few features. Click on this filter uh, icon and go to all records. If you choose the next one beside it, it looks like a grid. You can also choose a different set of field sets, it's called, where you can organize the columns. So you can pick the appropriate one. If I choose the semester one transcript, I'm gonna see uh, all of my classes and I'm gonna only see marks pertaining to my semester one classes. If I click on this column called master schedule, I can organize by that so that my full year classes are together, my semester one classes are together and my semester two classes are together. The next side tab is called current schedule and in there you're going to see these red boxes that tell us what day it is and what period we're in. If you choose this drop down menu here from semester one and you choose today, it'll also tell you what times each of the periods fall on, especially if we have an alternate schedule and again those red boxes tell you what period we're in. On the side tab here is called attendance and this daily attendance is what's recorded from the front office when they hear from your parents if you're excused because you're sick. That's different than if we go to the academics top tab where you can see your attendance by class as it's recorded by the teacher. So if I click on one particular class, so let's say history 20, I'll go to the details where I'll see the attendance and I'll also see the categories for my particular class. We won't be using these grading features too, too much. So this might just be all that you see. The next side tab here is called assignments, which again, we won't be using too much this year. The third side tab is called attendance, which is all of the attendance in detail as recorded by your teacher. I hope that was helpful uh, and gives you a really quick orientation. Uh, all the best this semester and let me know if you have any questions.